SGC here, we're back with a movie review, and this time it's by location. A 2013 Japanese science fiction horror film directed by Mari Asato. And it stars the following, Asami Mizukawa, Kosuke Toyohara, Kento Senga, Kinichi Takito, Wakanai Sakai, Yosuke Asari, So Takara. So, what's this movie about? So basically, it's about a group of people who discover that they have something of a clone. A clone in the sense where they dress like them, they talk like them, and they for some reason have the same thing as them for some reason. Like, if I had a $20 bill in my wallet, my clone would have a $20 bill in my wallet. And for some reason, they disappear and that $20 would disappear with them. So, this is how Asami Mizukawa's character first discovered that these bi-location existed and there's a small group of people that just reassure each other pretty much of they're gonna be okay and they, they will figure it out and obviously not. So what I like about this film, so first off I really enjoyed the characters. They come from different backgrounds and the plot lines they have is interesting and and how they have these by location exists is interesting. I think so basically the, the plot was an interesting intriguing premise and I would say the acting was hit and miss from some characters but majority of them really brought the mystery and just just an intrigue of like what's really happening or how is this gonna end like if you watch the trailer you basically know this isn't your generic horror film and and I would say that for myself I was more intrigued on how they're gonna wrap this thing up because I mean with these things it's is it either ghosts like spirits or is it like aliens or what have you and and I would totally recommend it just for that just to see how they wrap things up and I would say they wrapped it up well, actually I'm not gonna say anything how about how they wrapped it up but yeah so I really enjoyed uh, Kenichi Takedo's uh, portrayal of a deranged cop um, especially it was especially his intensity and it was just he brought like something that was totally different compared to all the other characters because uh, we have an artist a high two high school kids a mom and a mysterious guy and a cop and 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 one more actor plays Asami's uh, husband and it's and I think he brings much more and and then it goes into the plot and I would say the way, the way that they did it was really done well like it set up things and and it, it was executed well so like I was saying execution was done well I mean Maria Sato really knew how to film this and it, it really really got at audiences I would say for a ride that you really weren't sure where you're gonna end up with and I think sure you can guess somewhat of it but not everything was like oh totally obvious to me when I first when I when I watched it I was like yeah I sort of like knew this was coming but okay I didn't see that coming I didn't like about this film basically would probably be the pacing of this film because this it feels abrupt at times and it's like where is this really going but I guess it's this whole movie experience of the plot itself I guess another thing that I would address is the whole marketing behind this film um, if you've seen any of the posters clearly it's a horror film and I would say I would have toned down the bit um, I mean not to ruin anything but I would say it, it's not what it seems to be like just watch the trailer you would know what I'm talking about so the poster that they have for this movie I would say it, it's not necessary that you, you would go this route I would have been but then it's sort of a stubbornness I would say that audience would expect something and get something more or less whatever it is but yeah I think it's it, it's hard when you have movies that are like this and and it's like where we where we're gonna go with this but I mean if you watch it you you enjoy it I think in some sense that it was kind of smart but not so smart and that's where I can get into the plot sometimes that there are rules set up in this film and then sometimes these rules aren't followed and I'm just like how how like like I think these rules are cool and all but when you have your like total explanation of what's happening and then you're like how could that have happened within these rules so that was sort of like uh but then I think overall the film sort of 
made me gloss over that in terms of just the acting and just the tension that it created. I think this movie was pretty intense when it needed to be, and I was like, wow, this horror film is intense. Like, because you can't escape. Like, it, like, I'm saying, like, if it was like a spirit or something, and it makes you kill yourself, it's sort of like, well, well you can't really escape from that. Or, or like, it, it's... It's like you're, you're, you're inflicting wounds to yourself, and it's like, well, sorry. But, like, when you have someone that's, like, actively hunting you down, punishing you in terms of just, like, giving you pain, it's just like, whoa. And, and, and yeah, I, okay, I'm not going to talk more about the plot, because I think it's an intriguing plot, and I think you should watch it. And that's pretty much it for this bi-location review. It was interesting. You could guess how it ends, but not everything. And it, it constricts itself with some rules, but beyond that, I think this movie was a pretty solid. But I do wonder how it stacks up to the original novel. If you have read the novel, leave a comment, because I can't read Japanese. So if you have read it, do tell me how it stacks up to the movie, because it probably might probably be better. I don't know, but that's, that's the general, you know, consensus of adaptations of novels, that novels usually are better. But anyway, this is pretty much it for this movie review for By Location, and thank you for watching. See you.